Smile is a giant fucking mess. While it's smarter than the god-awful trailer would lead you to believe, that doesn't mean it's a good movie. In fact, I think the correct term to describe this film is hot fucking garbage. There's some good stuff here. The first 20 to 30 minutes or so are compelling enough. The scene at the birthday party is legitimately quite unnerving, and the fact the protagonist's sister goes from seemingly completely shallow to being rather well-rounded was nice to see. The creepy visuals, especially near the end, are also a highlight. Oh, and A-Train is in this. Who doesn't love perpetually on the verge of Redemption Man? Sosie Bacon also turns in a pretty great performance here. The problem, though, is that this is basically just Ringu, channeled through creepy pasta vision. So often the film jumped between reminding me of Ringu, it follows, and as stated earlier, creepy pastas. The last one's fitting, since this isn't far off from resembling that in quality. So much of it is cheap, try-hard bullshit that drags the positives down. And Smile is also apparently so desperate to be Ringu, its message is either really muddled at the end, or intentionally nihilistic. I won't lie, had I not been with my friend, I probably would have walked out, since this film ends up predictable by the number slot. And not the enduring kind. Skip this unless you really want to waste your money and time. Or at least wait until you can stream it for free. Oh yeah, and I did hear the cat. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I try and keep her out of the room while I'm recording and sometimes this happens. But yeah, um, like, subscribe. If you don't like, don't like. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. Uh, comment either nice or mean things. Try and keep it something that won't get your comment blasted off YouTube and me blasted off YouTube. But until next time, this is Mad Silence, signing out. You don't want to wake up, do you?